Welcome to Mills Motors, located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa. Today we are looking at the demo 2016 Sierra 1500 Denali four-wheel drive crew cab shown here in the very nice onyx black. Under the hood has the Ecotec 3 5.3 liter direct injected V8 engine with the 8-speed automatic transmission. Taking a look now at the inside of this truck, the upholstery here is all leather and down here you do have your 10-way power adjustable driver's seat including lumbar support. On the inside of the driver's side door, you can see that there is a ton of storage here, as well as you do have your Bose premium speakers, which do allow for the best sounding quality when listening to your music. Up here, you have your child lock, your window lock, your powered windows, your powered lock and unlock, as well as your power mirrors and your power folding mirrors. And over here, you have your two memory sets for the pedals, uh, mirrors, and your seat. Now, getting into this truck is made easy, thanks to this six inch chrome assist up here that does run door to door. Starting on the left hand side here, you have your trailer brake, your four wheel drive selection, as well as your exterior lights. Over here, you have your Ford collision warning, as well as your heated steering wheel uh, buttons and your cruise control. Behind here, you have your wipers and indicators. Over here, <coughs> excuse me. Over here on the right hand side, you do have your hands free, as well as your other buttons to help you navigate through this beautiful screen right here in front. Moving away over to this touch screen now, you do have your AM, FM, and XM radios, as well as you can connect your phone to the truck. And that projection icon means that it is car, Apple Play, as well as Android Auto friendly. And as well as you do a navigation, I'll show you that now by pressing on it. And you'll see that a map does pop up, which is quite convenient. Hit the home button now, you'll see that there are some settings you can play with, as well as your text message settings. Uh, you do have your OnStar, so if you go up here to the rear view mirror and you click that blue button there, you will be connected to OnStar, and they can help you out with any situation that you are in, including pinpointing a destination for you here on your screen, uh, if maybe you're not sure where you're going or possibly lost. Down here, you do have all your buttons and knobs that also help you navigate your way through that screen. Here you have all your air con controls, including your front and rear defrost, and as well as that, you do have your heated and cooled driver and passenger seats, which is very nice year round. As well as that, you do have your dual climate controls. So if I get a temperature up here on both of the dials, you can see you can have the driver set to, let's say 20 and the passenger to 16, which is very nice if the driver and passenger do a different temperature once. Let me just turn down this fan a little bit here. Here we are. And down here, we have a bunch of cool buttons. So starting off with the one on the left, you have this button that moves the pedals towards and away from the driver. Here you have your traction control. Here you have the button that does turn on the, the uh, lights to your truck bed. You have your parking assist, your lane keep assist, as well as your hill descent. And below that, you have a whole bunch of charging ports here. So you have your two USB ports, two auxiliary power outlets, as well as your power outlet. And in between the two seats, you have a bit of storage, two cup holders, and on this middle armrest right here, you do have a little spot where you can place your phone. And if your phone is wireless charging capable, it will begin to charge while the truck is running. Lifting that up now, we have lots of goodies in here, uh, but as well as that, you can see that it does have lots and lots of room in here, as well as you do have two USB ports, an auxiliary import, as well as on this side, you do have your auxiliary power outlet, if I can get that open. And going straight up from here, you can see that if my mic wasn't caught on the seatbelt, there we go. Uh, you can see up here that you do have your powered rear window control, uh, which is very nice for when you want to let in some of that fresh air. And you do have your three garage door buttons. And continuing to move way over to the passenger side, you do have an upper glove box here, which does offer a little bit of storage or anything that you need to get at quickly. As well as down here, you do have your regular size glove box, which is uh, a little bit bigger. And you can store many different other things in. As well as that, on the passenger side door, you do have your powered windows, your powered lock and unlock, and those Bose premium speakers. Have a look at those gorgeous 22-inch aluminum wheels there as we make our way over to the rear of the vehicle. Now, you can see in the corner here that you do have this nice corner assist step, which will help you when you are trying to get in and out of the truck bed, as well as you do have your parking sensors all lined up all along this rear bumper here. You do have your hitch down below, and right here, you do have your colored backup camera. Now, it does have the easy lift tailgate system, which means I can just open it and let it open on its own, and it will not make any sudden bangs or thuds. Once it is open, you will see that there is quite a lot of room back here, as well as you do have some hooks lined along the right side, as well as some on the left side, so you can't secure a rope or a cargo net back here, making sure that any loose items are nice and safe and secure. But if you do have any loose items rattling around back here, you do not need to worry about it scuffing up your paint or even doing some minor body damage, because you do have this nice spray on box bed liner, uh, which will keep everything nice and safe and protected. As well as that, you do have your lights underneath here, which do turn on by flick of the button on the inside of the truck which will light up this whole area, making it nice and convenient when you're trying to grab something out of here when it is darker outside or you are in a darker area. And now, thanks again to that, use the tailgate system. Closing that tailgate is made really easy. 
Now looking at the rear passenger side door, you can see on the inside here that there is quite a bit of storage, as well as you do have your powered window control and that nice wooden grain trim. Now to get into this back seat is again made easy and simple thanks to the six inch chrome assist tab here. You can see that there is some storage here behind the passenger seat, as well as there's some here behind the driver's seat. And behind this middle console here, you have some two little uh, storage compartments as well as you do have your auxiliary power outlet. Now the second row seating does support three people, but when someone is not sitting in this middle seat here, you can pull on this tab and downfold the center folding armrest as well as two cup holders, helping make some of those longer journeys a little relaxing. As well as that, you do have, again, your powered rear window right here that is operated by a button up at the front of the truck. And again, that'll let in some of that fresh air, which is quite nice if you do have three people back here. I know things can tend to get a little bit hot and warm back here, so it's nice to let in some of that air. What an all around gorgeous truck, folks. And it does not stop with the looks because it is also equipped with the safety and connectivity of OnStar, as well as having its own 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, which does mean that you can connect your mobile devices to it whilst in the vehicle, helping move time along quickly if you are going on some of those longer journeys. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the awesome Demo 2016 Sierra 1500 Denali four-wheel drive crew cab shown here in the very nice Onyx Black. Under the hood has the Ecotec 3 5.3 liter direct injected V8 engine with the eight-speed automatic transmission. If you want to test drive this truck, we are located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa, and we would be very happy to show you that we will do whatever it takes.